Well, as you can see, I back tested their current portfolio through a market crash and it was down close to 70%. This falls in line with the large drawdown that occurred in their real portfolio in March 2020. Oh wait, I forgot. They made money in March. Well, they either took out money or they lost money and they still have not come close to recovering in that account. Okay, I did a little more investigation on how the Skyview public alert account balance fell over 74% in five trading days. And here's what I found. They were down on the year. The market wasn't down. Uh, the market was just going up, up and up. But they were down on the year and they were looking for a significant profit. And they decided to go ahead and take a chance on a larger trade. Now, looking back, this trade was established on a Monday, February 3rd. And I rebuilt this trade, as you can see here, in Option and Explorer. The position is a strangle, and I won't say the exact position. Um, you know, I want to protect the innocent. But watching the videos, you can see the position was in the account, in the public alert account, on March 2nd. March 3rd, there was no video. Then on March 4th, it was gone. Now on March 2nd, you could see that the margin requirement for this one position, we'll just call it position A. Position A had a margin requirement of around $25,000 at that time. And based on their trading philosophy, they would not exit this position at a loss. Uh, their trading system really calls for adjustments in holding and mitigating losses. Now, I suspect they took the position out of the account on the third. Remember, there was no video on that day. They did it to protect the public account because it was at that time taking up over 40% of the margin available in the account. So at that point, I believe they moved the position to another account, hoping the position would bounce back as most of the time these positions do bounce back. So here's the position. I'm going to move it to March 2nd, as we know it was in their account at this time. March 2nd. So here's what it looked like on March 2nd, this one position. Now, how much margin was this using? A good ballpark way to estimate margin for span margin and portfolio margin is to look at your T plus zero line at 12.5% down. So here's 12.5% down right here. And you can see it's $24,000. See this number right here? Right here, if I go to 12.5% up here, and I look at this number. So right about there. So it was around $24,000 in margin requirement to hold this position at that time on the second. Then I went to the next video, which was March fourth and the position was gone it wasn't in their account and then there were no videos recorded till march 11th so i didn't get to see anything until march 11th and they were battling this position trying to not take a loss and we can go through this so the next day well this is the day that i believe they took it out of the account so on the third so you can see here their margin expanded to over thirty-two thousand dollars and they pulled it from the account because it was going to, the, the uh, public account was going to get margin called if they didn't pull this position out of it. And they didn't want to take a loss. So they were down not too much, but significantly enough where they didn't want to take a loss. They thought they could recover. And so let's see how the account did the next day. This is if it would have stayed in their account, but they still don't want to take a loss. They feel like, oh, another couple days and we're going to be able to get out. And then March 5th. Here's what it looked like. March 5th started becoming more problems. Now at this point, it's in the other account, the private account. They have a margin of about $30,000, down about $3,500. And then the sixth, they got a $40,000 uh, margin requirement. They're down about 10 grand on it. Let's see what happens on the seventh, or actually on the ninth, on Monday. Now. They're down 14,000 and then their margin requirement at this point right here is $72,000. Okay. That would have wiped out their other account in terms of margin. They would have been forced to liquidate in their uh, public account. So at least they took it out of that account. 
But at this point, their margin is expanding significantly. And I believe at this point, they took money out of the public account in order to support this private account because they needed at least $70,000 in the account or they were going to be forced to close the position. And uh, let's go to the 10th. This is when they made a video. So this is when I saw the public account down by 40%. So I believe they pulled money from the public account to subsidize this account. Now, this particular account, look at the margin, how it came back. It's, it's around 50,000. So it came from 70,000 down only to 50,000. So maybe they were thinking, oh, you know, we might make it out of this thing. And then the 11th, right here, now their margins back to 70 grand. They don't want to take a loss. And this is when the public account went all the way down 74%. So I believe they took more money out of that public account in order to subsidize this private account just for this one position because they're trying to hold it. So they're holding on. Let's see what happens on the next day. Okay, so more than likely this, you know, I don't know, but they, hopefully for them, they got out on the 11th, took the loss because if they held it to the 12th, now your margin requirements are $130,000 and your loss is $47,000. So they may or may not have taken a loss here, um, but definitely if this was still in their public account, it would have been game over. The account would have been blown out. They would have to sell all their positions out. They would have been forced to liquidate at the worst possible moment. Either way you slice it, the public alert account was margin called. Just because the position was moved to another account did not take the margin call away. This also explains why the public alert account was down 74% in five trading days. And the portfolio manager said they took funds out to support another account. So that makes sense. They did do that. But he also did not want to give me the details of what happened because this is a margin call. And this is what happens when you get margin called. Selling option premium based on high IV rank, especially naked options, works great until the day of reckoning. Then you blow up. I mentioned this before, if you remember, when I was trying to find Tasty Trade archives from March 2020. And for some odd reason, in the places that they normally had two to three weeks of archives, it only had like one or two days there. They hid the March 2020 trading period because their trading method blew up accounts. Selling option premium based on high implied volatility is nothing new. It does not work in the long run. And I just proved it. I would not recommend trading like this even if it was free. And you can learn how to do this for free from Tasty Trade. So I have two strong reasons why I would stay away from Skyview Trading Alert Service. Number one, you can get the same thing for free from Tasty Trade. And number two, why even do it? The trading system loses money. So I hope this information was helpful. And to obtain this information, I spent $14 and around 14 hours investigating Skyview trading techniques and editing this video. And all I ask in return is that if you found this information helpful or interesting, that you subscribe, hit the like button, and check out my free course in the description below.